bond for this is completed, we'll remove the electrodes. Now, one thing you need to keep in mind, keep in mind which one is the black electrode and the red electrode. The le red electrode is who you, what we're going to use to collect under. That's the one where the sweat will be stimulated. We remove the black electrode from the arm. And now we're going to have the red electrode. We'll remove it. What you want to do is make sure you clean the area well. So you take the ionized water, wipe it well, because you saw that there was a wet spot or some residual pilocarpine on the arm. We want to make sure it's clean and ready for collection. So now one thing you've got to be aware of is with the macroduct collector, you do not want to touch it with your hands. Your hands may contain some kind of chloride, sodium. So what you do is we remove the collector from the package. You can see there's some blue dye on there. And we'll, when you, the patient sweats, the sweat will come through and pass over that blue dye and make blue. And you'll be able to color the sweat and it'll be blue as we as the patient sweats. So now you put it directly over the spot where you have the red electrode. Take a strap. We will attach. You can either attach this to the collector before you start or you can do it at this point. So you just put the post through one of the holes. We will make sure that we always keep the collector in the same spot, you don't move it. You may have to push onto the arm a little bit, but you want to make sure it's in the same place as the red electrode was. Now, this is one thing that's very important to prevent um, not quantity not sufficient. What you need to do is make sure that this is tight, where it's tight, but it's not, it's slightly uncomfortable, but it's not hurting your patient. You see we have it kind of tight here and it's not quite tight enough so what I would do is this tight is tight so I would go and add so what you want to do is you can see how kind of the skin comes through a little bit then you know you have a good attachment to your arm as you can see we've had time times elapsed so that now we have button sweat and the sweat is colored a little bit of blue and that's from the dye that's on the back of the macroduct collector. So what we're going to do to be able to remove the sweat and collect it from the arm and make sure we don't have quantity not sufficient or we don't miss the specimen, this is how we're going to do it. These are the steps that are important. Okay, so what you do is you have your nippers. You go through, pop them off. Just pop the cover off. We'll throw it away. Now the nippers are good for what we're going to do is find the end of the microbore tubing, which is right here. And then you pull up gently. Okay, now there's two ways to remove the sweat from the arm. One thing we want to do is you want to make sure that your sweat, you're collecting all the sweat that's on the back of the arm. You can either use the syringe here, which I prefer, which is easier to do, or you can use the nut little tool, the sweat collection tool that we have that comes with the kit. I find it's easier to use a syringe. You can use that. It's the same principle that we're gonna show now. What you do is on the syringe, you'll pull back on it, and you in the Macroduct Advance Kit, it comes with syringes, and it also comes with these um, tips that uh, metal uh, needles you don't want to throw these away these are not disposable syringes are but these are not you want to keep them because they're tapered ends what makes it very easy to fit into the microbore tubing so you want to do so you can see the needle is tapered and it fits really easy into the, the microbore tubing. 
You notice I already pulled up on that, on the syringe, so we have a little bit of air. You just want to barely move it to cause a slight vacuum to get it away from all the sweat collected and back into the tubing. So we just barely pull it back. You can see that I've caused a vacuum. You'll have your syringe. You will collect the microbore tubing at the end. You can see what we did when I pulled back on that, the tubing, you can see that little bit of blue has come back. And we can see the blue sweat is within the tubing itself. We'll bring it over to our collection vessel, which is our macroduct PCR tubes that we have available in the kit. You will put the end of the microbore tubing into the syringe. Okay, you can see how the end kind of curls. What I want to do, and now you can see the sweat as I push on it because I have the syringe pulled out. You can see how the sweat is dispensed. It will slowly. The sweat has been dispensed. So you have your sample collection here in your small PCR tube.